I, write this to take out. the derivative of this, you could do it a couple ways. Probably the easiest way is just to distribute these two, <coughs> these two things together. So we're going to distribute the x in. The x, if I distribute the x in, I'll get x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x. And now I'm going to distribute the negative 2 in. Make sure you bring the negative with it. So that's minus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. Continuing now, um, and then that's all, of course, over x cubed. Now when I add the like terms, those will cancel and those will cancel. So actually, all I'm going to have is x cubed minus 8 all over x cubed. And I can simplify that further by distributing x cubed into both terms on the top. And I get 1 minus 8. I'm going to write it like this. 8 times x to the negative third. Mm -hmm. Wait. Why negative two? Because 8 over y that. Let me show you one step at a time. You see how I get from there to there? Yeah. What's this the same as saying if you're dividing by x to the third? Negative 2. It's the same as 1 plus 8x to the negative third. Now I can oh, use the power the rule. Third, not 8 to the negative third. Now I can use the power rule and the derivative. So if this is y, then the derivative of y is just going to be equal to take that negative 3 down, multiply it, right? So it's going to be negative 24. Oh, sorry. Not, not negative 24. This was supposed to be a negative right here. So it should be positive 24, right? Yeah. I forgot about that. So it's positive 24 times x to the negative 4, which could be rewritten then as 24 over x to the 4th. You understand how I got that? Can I, yeah. Wait, wait, where the one, the only problem I... See, where'd the one come from? The uh, one came were... from distributing this. This is like x cubed over x cubed minus 8 over x cubed. And what's x cubed over x oh, cubed? okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. x cubed over x cubed is just one. Yeah, okay. So that's how that works. Shut off. Now you could have done it, you could have also done this problem in a totally different way, but that actually turned out to be the easier way to do it. it. You could have used the product rule and the quotient rule but then there's a lot of simplifying that you have to do and it's more likely to make a mistake.